is here talk about our architectural proficiencies, the thing that hits us down quite badly. This is actually where some of your easier marks are from. Inside our folders here, you can see some of um, these two major ones here. What I want to show you now is these two. You'll see that there's, uh, and I've labeled it in the folder as Architect Prof Act Fees Guideline, and then you'll, this is a really old one, Board Notice 170 of 2010. What I want you to look at here for Board Notice of 2010, notice that it's old, and notice that the values will be different to what you know. Right, it tells you here, so whenever SACAP needs to make a change to something, they need to gazette it and they need to have board notices and whatnot. Gazette is like when it gets published in the government's um, papers that they publish to make sure that something is legislated and it's legal and legitimate and whatnot. So every time something needs to happen with changing the fees, they must keep going and publishing this thing every time. So this one that you're seeing here is a 2010 one. Guys, when you go into the internet, ladies and guys, everybody that's here, you're going to see some stuff that's going to con confuse the crap out of your brain. Like you're going to see here, stages one to six, and you're going to see that they have the portion of the fees five and 15 and 20 and 27 and three. It's not that way anymore. Make sure you always look at the most up-to-date version that's published. If it's not in the year that you're at 2022, which is current year, then it'll most likely be in the year before. So make sure whenever you look at these gazettes, look for the latest one. And then once you find the latest one, then go and check it out. It could be the year you're in or the year before. I don't want to confuse you too much, but note that this is the 2021 version of the fees. There will be others, and there might even be another one as we speak. But for now, I'm going to explain to you the principle. So whether you find 2022 one tomorrow, which you should know about if it is published, or you see one that says, 2020 on it, you know that don't use those, use the more current one. And I'm explaining the principle to you how this works. Recall last week, we spoke about the IDOW, Identification Works Policy, and they spoke to us about low complexity projects, medium complexity projects, and high complexity. Remember we spoke about that? This is building on that, and there are different ways we can cost projects. And the ways we can cost projects are as follows. So if it's a low complexity or a medium or a high, we can charge a fee for that. And this is really important because it's talking about now you're establishing your practice and how do you calculate fees. If you didn't know this already, I'm going to take you through it. And if you knew this already, great for you. Make sure that you're following and see if your understanding matches up to what I'm saying. By the way, you can read the document yourself. This stuff is all self-evident. It's not like you are going to suffer if you don't listen to my lecture. It's just um, saving you some time reading it yourself. All right. There are different methods of calculating fees in architecture. Here's one method, the project cost-based fee. This is the one they're going to test you on most likely. The project cost-based fee, as you guessed it, it's based on the project cost. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? And now there's ways to look at it. There's low complexity projects, there's medium complexity projects, and there's even high complexity projects in each of them have their own tables. You don't need to memorize the table, woohoo, whoop de doo they will give this to you inside the exam. Table one, table two, table three. Don't memorize the table. What you need to learn is how to read the table. Here's very important words for you. Primary fee, secondary fee, cost bracket. Primary fee, secondary fee, cost bracket. I'll tell you one more time, primary fee, secondary fee, cost bracket. And if you're doing calculations and past papers, beautiful for you, you already know the stuff. And for those of you who don't, it's okay if you'll get there. And for those of you who do, don't spoil it for everybody else. Just chill. Just chill, you'll get there. All right. It tells you now how to calculate the fees. It says you must first look at the primary fee for the cost bracket of works. I want to talk to you about this on high level. And then we're going to get into more reasonable discussions about it afterwards, which will show you some technicality. So primary fee, I'm telling you that's in column C. Hey, we just spoke about that just now, primary fee in column C. Then we said secondary fee in column D, also applicable for the particular project cost, the cost bracket, and then calculated as the applicable value of works minus column E times the percentage in column D. And here's the part like, okay, I feel. I was following C, I was following D, 
That's beautiful. Now I think we're getting level six stuff with me here. Room's taxonomy level six. I'm lost, Brazo. Don't worry. We'll get there. See how kind and generous these guys are. They are giving us a table here, which is showing us how to do this. I'm talking, follow. And if what I'm saying is messing with your brains, we're gonna draw a diagram just now because all of us love beautiful illustrations in the architecture field. I will draw a beautiful illustration for you to explain what's going on. But first, just listen. Listen, then see. Complexity. You need to choose the complexity which you at low, medium, or high, and you need to know which one it is at. Know the value of the works. What is the value of the works? So you come, somebody's coming to you, they're like, I have a project, it costs me 3 million bucks. Let's look at the table. They'll tell you it's a low complexity project. So you can go look at the table. This is like a question to you. It's a low complexity project that costs me 3 million bucks. Where does the 3 million bucks category fall? Oh, okay. So if I'm looking at the cost bracket in row four, that's where 3 million bucks fall. This entire row I'm looking at is where most of my numbers are going to come from for my calculation. So my project is 3 million. 3 million is between 2 and 4 million, of course, because you know, when you count, you go 1, 2, 3, then 4, okay, not 1, 2, 4, then 3. So 3 is between 2 and 4. So we know that for a 3 million Rand project, I need to look at this row. And when I look at this row, I'm, and it's a low complexity project, I'm going to find in this particular row, what is my primary fee? And what is my secondary fee? And then this D and E and whatever is going on here. Your secondary fee. So your primary fee is very basic. SACAP is telling you, guys, here's the foundational fee you have to pay. This is like the minimum requirement that people have to pay you. The primary fee. Eh? Like primary, the starting point. And it's like when you went to primary school. Some of you guys call primary, secondary uh, campus. Okay? Primary school. This is the benchmark that you have to get paid. It's the first thing you're going to write. That's the, the, the minimum starting point. The next is we need to figure out, they're going to tell you now, we need to calculate the secondary fee. In order to calculate your entire fees, you need to have your primary fee plus your secondary fee. How do you work out what's your secondary fee? They tell you in the instructions above, oh, sorry, below. To work out your secondary fee, you need to look at the cost the value bracket for works, and then you need to calculate some stuff here. And so you're going to have a look here in your low complexity. You're going to say, okay, my secondary fee, how to calculate it is percentage multiplied by some balance over story. We'll talk about it now. Let's see if SACAP has helped us. So SACAP has helped us to some degree. They've given us an example. They're saying, okay, for a project that's low complexity of 3 million bucks, you know where to find that on the table. The primary fee is 256382. Where did they get this from? Remember, we said the project is between 2 and 4 million, 3 million. That's where they got that number from, 256382, primary fee. Okay, beautiful. So now they gave me my primary fee that they've given here is 256382. And now they want me to calculate the secondary fee. How do you calculate the secondary fee? You take this value of the works here, this 3 million bucks, and you subtract it by this number. Where did they get that number from? Let's go back to the table. Remember, all our answers are sitting here for us within this cost bracket. Hey, there's that number we're looking for. I think there's one 2001, hey, 2000, 0, 0, 1, 2001, 2001, 2 million, 1, anyway. We then said, we're taking the value of the works, 3 million bucks, minus this balance over. Let me see if they do it. Okay, there's my 3 million bucks here. Minus is 2 million bucks, times 0, or well, times 9.5, 8%, sorry, now 9.58%. Where did they get this 9.5 from? Where are these numbers coming from? Let's go back. All the way back, we said at number four, here's all the numbers we ever need to work with because that's where our cost is. 9.58. Oh, that's where the 9.58 came from. They told us. So what they want us to do is take this um, cost bracket value, if it's between two and four, we said ours is three, minus this funny number here, is 2002 million one times that percentage. That's how we work at our secondary fee. So let's go see here. And they're like, okay, there's it. Minus that will give us this number. Time is that. Time is that. And then we now will get our secondary fee. So first we have a primary fee and then we have a secondary fee. And remember, to calculate your professional fee, you must add the two together. So here's your primary fee. There's a number. Maybe I wrote it here. 
plus your secondary fee, here's your secondary fee, the number here, will give you 352,166.61. There we go, beautiful. That's all you have to do to calculate your professional fees. The most difficult question that everybody cries about and fears is there. Very, very simply done. It's not uh, you don't need anything of higher thinking to do that. They're just telling you where all the answers are to look. The thing that maybe gets your brain in a muddle, a puddle, is that part there. Subtract and then multiply. Okay? You do the same for medium complexity, for high complexity, whatever the case is. Right. Let's see what you understand. And then I'm going to draw a pretty diagram to see if we follow it. Right, let's go for it and let's start drawing a pretty picture because Lazelle got it right. Let's see if we can get it right like Lazelle. I'm going to say that I have a project that's 7 million bucks, a high complexity project of 7 million bucks. Let's go here with you. I'll type here the question, the Q is I have a project, I have a project like I have a dream. I have a project which is R7 million, okay? 7 million bucks. Calculate for me, the professional fee. Let's go do it together now, okay? Uh, that project, uh, by the way, is a high complexity, high complexity project. Now to calculate for me the professional fee, the steps I'm gonna take, here I'll write it just to help me. I need to establish, like establish, establish the bracket in which I will find my project value. What bracket does it go in? To identify the primary fee. Three, calculate the secondary fee. Four, add the primary fee and secondary fee, secondary fee. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Establish the bracket in which I'll find my project value. Okay. AKA, AKA, find the row. Beautiful. Let's see if I can follow these steps if they'll help me. Okay. So let's go, here. go back to my screen. There I was, it's a high complexity project, okay. high complexity of 7 million bucks. Yo. The beautiful high complexity 7 million. So I'm going to look for the table which is high complexity at 7 million. Okay, high complexity at 7 million bucks. I'm looking the rows. 1 to 200,000. No, that's not my project value. 200 to 650,000. That's not my project value. 4 to 6.5. That's not it. Oh, 6.5 to 13. That's my project value. So all of my values for everything I'm going to calculate is coming out of the sixth row. Everything I need, sixth row. Beautiful. Now I go here. I'm saying, okay, so right, that, that's where it is. It's in the sixth row. What row is it? I'll just help you right here and I'll say, find all my values in row six. Beautiful pajamas. Now, next we say, identify the primary fee. Let's see where can I find the primary fee. Remember? My primary fee here will be 948.62, sorry, 948.762, sorry, 948.762.87. That's my primary fee. Let's go here. I identify my primary fee. Let's take it here. Paste. Copy and paste. Let's make it red and let's make that one a bit bigger. 18, 28. Make that one red. Cool. Here's my primary fee. Take it, bank it, keep it one side. I need that guy. Next, we need to work out the secondary fee. And how do we work out the secondary fee? The secondary fee's formula is you're going to Take column E minus your particular, sorry, you take your project value, whatever it is, 7 million in this case, minus column E times by the percentage that they gave you, percentage that they gave you, whatever that percentage is. Project value minus column E times the project percentage so, that they gave you. So let's go back and let's see where that is. Let's go here. We're like, okay, cool. I need to take my project value at 7 million. And I need to minus column B. So there's column B here. And column B. Oh, let's undo that. That shouldn't happen. So I'm in column E. I'm in row 6. Because all my values here are row 6. And 
7 minus 7 million minus that number. Let's take it here, let's write it. Let's uh, help ourselves here. Write an arrow. Tipom, here we are. There's it. This number here. I'm taking 7 million. I'll write it here. 7, 1. Minus that, or make it just a bit larger so you can read it. 7 million minus whatever that number is there. Close the brackets, because that's what I must do. Close brackets and multiply by this percentage value, whatever that percentage value is. Now let's go and check it out. What is this percentage value that we're looking at? The percentage in row six there is 11.28%. Why? Remember, we're looking at row six and they're telling us a percentage times 11.28%. 11.28%. Percent beautiful. I'm going to get some number. I'll write that number here and call that number, um, uh, as Lizelle called it, magic. That number is going to be a magical number, whatever that magical number is. And then what we do to figure out our professional fee, now that we've worked it out, I'm going to take my 948762, my primary fee, remember that one? Daisy banking, chilling there, plus my magical, magical number. And that will equal to my prop fee. How beautiful is that? But wait, there's more. This is the part where everybody kind of screws themselves over as well. The question will tell you, include that. And so you need to work out what is, as you might know now, 15% of that particular amount. What is 15% of that? So we'll say here it's prof fee times 15%. And just now someone's going to argue with me, but I'll get to you. And that equal to your prof fee. Oh, sorry, that would be your VAT. That's what you're getting. And what you need to now do next in your next step, I'll put a tab here. You need to now write, you need to add together your Prof fee plus that, okay? And that's gonna be your final answer for SACAP. What you could do potentially for yourself is on every stage that you're working on, you only have to calculate that for every stage that you are doing. In the end, when you add it up all together, it should give you the same amount that you will have in its entirety here. But don't confuse yourself with it yet. I'm just telling you, remember, they're gonna tell you including or excluding that. If it is including that, it's 15% of your professional fee, add it together, add the VAT to your professional fee, and you will get your final professional fee, including VAT. All right here. Final prof fee, include VAT. Okay. They will tell you, including or excluding VAT. They will literally tell you in the examination. Listen to the question. And now you've done one of the more, uh, I don't know, think about it. One of the things that everybody generally is scared of in the examination. Oh my gosh, how am I going to calculate fees? It gets more complex than this. And what's the complexity? They'll tell you, you must reduce fees because of the type of project. So this is now what you get in a level three or level four question. They'll tell you, a uh, customer asks for a discount because it is a um, large development with similar units similar units you then need to look at what does SACAP say in their guide when you are mass producing something like a copy and paste what is the kind of discount you can give they could also ask you something like it's a heritage project and then you'll know that your fee is going to increase okay increase because it's a heritage project they'll tell you you can work on your professional fee plus 30 percent of that okay so here there's only two options you have your fees are either going to decrease or increase, depending on the situation. Know that heritage is always an increase. I mean, every you have copy and paste of units, it's going to be, oh, here, large number of similar units, copy and pasting of units is a decrease. That's all I'm going to tell you on it now. I don't want to confuse you more because you just need to get this idea of what's happening in your head. Decrease and increase. Okay? Increase when it's more complex, decrease when it's not so bad. 